Hello, I'm James, I'm a mechanical engineering student and these are the 12 apps that help me stay productive. I often get asked, how do I only study four hours a day? And despite working really deeply, I make it easy and these apps help me do that. So the first one is Apple Notes. This is amazing to capture everything in my life, YouTube, uni, book notes, stuff like that. To-do lists on there as well for uni and it helps me focus on what's essential. It's very simple and it's very reliable. The second one is One Focus app. This allows me to block all the distracting websites like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram throughout the day and I can use it in a interval of time from 1 to 2 p.m. when I want to just relax and I can watch YouTube and the things I want to do. But throughout the day I'm not just constantly getting distracted and it stops me from doing that and stops like email app as well. This third one is Anki. This is such an amazing app to help me focus on what's essential when studying. It's focusing on active recall and space repetition and that's built into Anki. And we all know now that rereading notes and re-highlighting notes isn't very effective and it helps me just get everything into one place and actively review it. So to make Anki very useful, the fourth one is Rectangle. This is an amazing app where you can snap the um, tabs into different positions on the screen. So I've got command one to seven to help me do that. And the fifth one is OWL OCR. This is an amazing application where you can screenshot pieces of text and then put it into Anki. This helps me make flashcards so much quicker, especially from lecture slides where I screenshot all the text. Then I put it into ChatGPT and ask him to like synthesize all the information for me. And it's so useful, honestly, it saves so much time. The sixth one is the Pomodoro timer. I have it normally for about 45 minutes and the amazing thing about this it reminds me to rest it reminds me to have a break have a breather have something to drink uh, maybe go for a walk quickly and the best thing about this app is that when you put it on it's on the top right of the screen and you just click it on and then when the 45 minutes are done it interrupts your anki review and it says look have a break for five minutes and then it counts it down for you then you can just go back to it when it's finished and it really helps me remind myself to have a break one note this is an amazing app to help me organize all my lecture slides, my PDFs, my past papers into one place. I have a book for every module I do at university, so you could do the same if you're doing A-levels or GCSEs. It really helps me have everything in one place so that I can focus on reviewing what's essential. I use an iPad, so I just get my iPad out and lecture hall. I annotate over the lecture slide. It's really easy just to get to the information. The next one is Google Chrome. Why I use Google Chrome is because of all the extensions that it has. The speed focus one allows you to skip ahead on videos and allows you to speed them up by using shortcuts on your keypad. So D is speed up, S is slow down, and I have X is like jumping ahead of the video. And another one is Instapaper, which I use all the bloody time. It helps me save articles and YouTube videos that I can't watch in that moment. I'll save it into Instapaper so I can read it in that one to 2 p.m. interval, you know? so I can focus on what I'm doing right in that moment. Another thing about Google Chrome is that I have it to open my Google Calendar instantly so that I'm productive and I know what I'm doing throughout the day. I use my Google Calendar to track everything in my life alongside my daily planner. The next one is Notion. This helps me create a second brain of all the important information that I collect throughout the week. So from Instapaper, the stuff that I really like goes into Notion. From my notes app, the book notes that are really useful for me goes into Notion. And my YouTube videos, I organize everything in there. So, so useful and so helpful. The next thing is Brilliant.org, who are kindly sponsoring this video. I use them all the time to help me learn maths, physics, and computer science in a very fun, interactive way. Why I feel like this is such an amazing platform is because it helps me understand all the different types of STEM fields. As an engineering student, I'm deciding on doing maybe computer science as my master's. And I've really got into the AI and computer science courses because I want to have exposure before I make that big decision. And if you're deciding to go to university and study something like engineering or maths or physics or computer science, I really recommend to use the free 30 day trial and the first 200 to use the link brilliant.org slash James Morris slash will get 20% off the Brilliant's annual premium subscription. The next one is like something about play, something about like a hobby that you could do. It's GarageBand and iMovie. Why I'm requesting those ones is because they're free and they're not much better than the paid version. And it really helps to have some sort of outlook and YouTube is a massive hobby for me, 
playing my guitar and making you and like music videos is a massive hobby for me and it's really playful it's really fun i use garage band and imv v for a long time but i've transitioned to logic pro and final cut pro where you have to pay something around like 200 pounds for students which is like a package where you buy them all which is really worth it because it's actually like 600 pounds to buy them all individually so if you've got uni days and a student id i really recommend to do that if you want to use it for the long term so these are the apps that help me be productive get all that i want to get done throughout the day and get more with less so when people ask me james how are you so productive it's because i make it easy it's because i use all these apps every day and i've made a system around studying to make it easier and more fun so thank you very much brilliant for sponsoring this video and i hope you all have a beautiful rest of your week and peace bye bye